slide? Okay. Our next speaker is David Merriman. He's the um, CEO and co-founder of Kachum. Um, please uh, welcome David. Hello, hello everyone. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the warm welcome. Um, so I don't know how much uh, you know about Kachum uh, or the tools that we provide. Um, I will be talking about Crafter mainly. This is our uh, service. It is. It runs as a as a toolbox, and I will describe the different things that you can build with it. With a, an example at the end that uh, we really love from one of our customers, and, and they are practically combining everything that we uh, that we provide. Uh, first off, I wanted to uh, talk about Kachum a little bit. Um, so, as a company, we are about four years old, and uh, practically speaking, these are kind of the, the pillars of what we do and, and how we structure all our R&D and, and, and the mentality that we have for our products. So first of all, um, we have been out for uh, several years and not only in our platform, but powering other people's platforms. Some of them are uh, well known uh, and we have a lot of feedback from users. We have processed more than 450 million image scans. Okay. This is a lot of data that we have been uh, using. This is real users taking taking images. So when we develop the technology, we take that into account. The second the second thing is usability. So what we want is that everything uh, related to technology, special, especially on computer vision, is seamless for the user. So th we don't have to train the user to use our tools, but that the tools are seamless for them to use. The third one is uh, related to the um, reliability of our per of our tools. So we have been ben benchmarked against other providers out there sev several times. In the last one, we achieved 20% better performance. And the last one is related to scalability. So um, we have a, a strong focus on building tools that can scale to hundreds or millions of images. And you can run it on our cloud or you can we can also license the technology to others to run on their platforms when they have high traffic demands or a um, gigantic number of images. So what's the toolbox about? Um, so there are the SDKs, of course. There's the what we call the cloud service, and there's the support center for developers. So the SDKs, we have three, and they have different purposes. So there's the cloud image recognition SDK, the on-device image recognition SDK, and the augmented reality SDK. These three serve different things, and I will talk about them in a minute. Then the service in the cloud allows you to have uh, the content management system. It has several APIs uh, to connect to this content management system or through a web interface. And within this web interface, there's also a content creator. Okay, And of course, our uh, support center. Um, so the nice thing about this is that if you contact our support, is the same people that develop the tools. So if you have issues, if you have uh, I don't know, a device that is new in the market and, and due to fragmentation of Android, it doesn't work. You can contact them and they will look deep dive into, they, they will deep dive into the software to, to try to fix that. Of course, they, we have, um, we pretty often um, uh, write new tutorials for, for the different tools. Um, so we provide entire pipeline from um, the different types of technologies that we can that you can use until the the actual publication. So, in terms of technology, there are two things that you have to choose. First is uh, the type of interaction. So the image recognition SDKs, both the cloud and on device, are meant for triggering content. Okay, so you you scan an image out of say a catalog, and you lead to an online page, for instance, or a video or a, a product information. For augmented reality SDK, you're pretty familiar with those, I'm sure. Uh, it's about overlaying uh, digital content on the visual feed while you're capturing that object. And they are available both in iOS and Android. We provide Cordova plugins for all our SDKs and uh, Unity plugin for the Android SDK. Uh, sorry, <laughs> Unity plugin for the augmented reality SDK. And we also provide a JavaScript library for the image recognition. So if you want to have your website open a camera, so open the, the webcam uh, installed on your laptop, we, you can also do that. So directly triggering, for instance, um, uh, for instance, we have a customer that has a website that is, um, it, it works on, on tablets. And what they do is instead of producing an app, 
they have this uh, uh, web application that opens the camera and can search in this case for wine bottles okay so you can use your tablet show um, show the label of a wine bottle and it leads you directly to the product page um, the second decision that you have to take is whether you want to run from the cloud or totally on device and they have different purposes so the the idea of having cloud support is that uh, whenever you have content that changes frequently so for instance if you are empowering a magazine and this magazine has new issues every week or every month you want to keep the same app but be able to change the content so that the app every time that it scans it it searches in the cloud and it pulls all the data uh, from the cloud to the device whereas and then run the experience whereas for a non-device app typically you would embed everything uh, submit it to the App Store or Google Play and the app is ready with all the content. A uh, variant to this is a hybrid approach. So say you have um, say you have an e-commerce that you want to be able to interact with and there is a head of content that is frequently accessed and a tail of content, a long tail of content that is seldomly as accessed. Okay, So you could put the head of this content on the device so available at any time without internet connection and then the long tail uh, for anything that is uh, uh, more randomly accessed um, in terms of uh, content creation so this is kind of the structure inside our content management system so you have collections the idea is that so you have your apps typically connected to one collection uh, so such that they create kind of silos okay so you can produce for your single for a single account that you have in crafter multiple applications okay for each collection you have what we call items and they can be of two types augmented reality or image recognition and then attached to those uh, items you can you, you have the images that are the reference for uh, tri to trigger the the content and in terms of uh, content creation what you have what we provide is a content creation tool that is web based so you can access it from any computer um, and it what, what it creates so what you see on the on the left is a, a 3d scenery where you have the reference image and you can import 3d models uh, images videos um, you can turn uh, images into buttons and and stuff like that and publish directly from there in the cloud we also provide what we call the management api and the management api is basically um, a way to inject data into our cloud directly from your backend for instance so if you wanted to create your own uh, content management system for your customers you can make your content management system connect to ours okay and white label our solution so we are totally fine with that if you want to have your customers access your uh, service the api is also useful for bulk operations and and this kind of things um, the, we also offer within Unity that the fact that you can edit your content with within the Unity uh, editor and then we uh, provide an inspector, a, a, a plugin that allows you to upload that. So it, this plugin uses, uses this management API and it uploads the, the Unity scenes to the cloud. Um, so in terms of uh, publication, because you can publish in the cloud or you can uh, embed on the device, once you have created all this content you can decide whether it remains in the cloud and it's available at any time so the moment you publish it i don't know uh, one second later or, or, or five seconds later is available for any of your apps you don't have to republish or you can create a bundle download that bundle and, in, and embed it into your app uh, for so our on device um, so our sdks when they run on device they can also synchronize with the cloud so the idea here is that say you have a, an application that has a, um, a, a certain size and you don't want this size to explode because of your content because you want to promote that the users download it okay so you keep the size of the app rather small and then at the, the, the first time it, it, it the, the user opens it it downloads the content okay then at any time you can uh, update the content in the cloud say you want to swap images you want to uh, change content and ask the app to synchronize with the cloud and all of this is done through the SDK so you don't have to worry about all this content update um, so last I wanted to talk about uh, print so print is a company that raised over one million dollars from Kickstarter 
Um, and basically what they wanted to offer users is a case that looks like this that falls into your uh, smartphone. So you put it like this and it allows you to print pictures. Okay, so um, this, is, this comes to an idea that those memories, uh, you want to revive uh, those moments that you, that you captured. And what they do in addition to allowing you to print images is that they record a few seconds before and after that image. Okay, so that you take that picture, say you put it on your fridge or you put it wherever you want and you can scan that picture and it shows you the video of that moment. Okay, so this is a very, very nice, very nice uh, thing to, to revive the, those moments. And they use all our tools. Okay, so bear in mind for, for a second that I cannot give you a lot of details about this app, of course, but I can, I can tell you what they use. And um, they have a lot of users now. They, they were starting to release uh, during Christmas those, those uh, print cases. And of course, the uh, Christmas events had a lot of traffic, Easter as well, etc. So the app uses um, a management API. So they inject the data. So the users are capturing the pictures and immediately after they can already see the augmentations. Okay, so this is user generated content that has to go to the cloud um, and generate all the necessary assets. This is done through APIs, of course. Then because you can share a picture, your, the picture that you printed with someone else, they need cloud image recognition because that picture is not on your device, it's on someone else's device, okay? They use on-device image recognition. And the, here the idea is that if you have thousands of pictures, you want to go fast through them you cannot use an augmented reality SDK if the amount of images that you have to search through uh, is too big. And of course, the augmented reality SDK, they finally use it to render the videos on top of the, on top of the images. So a few takeaways. Um, so Ketchum has been out for, for a while now. And even though we are a lesser known brand than with respect to others, we have done a lot in terms of image recognition. Um, we provide the full stack. Uh, from from the, the SDKs to the cloud to the content management system. And if you want to produce applications that are complex in terms of the amount of things that um, they require, we you can combine this set of tools to, to empower those. And last but not least, you can come to our booth to see those demos. Thank you very much.